I have a secret barn full of underage horses. Are those Discord screenshots real? Yes. I'm sorry for what I did to your mother and father. Bosh isn't a chaser, but only because his trans jokes aren't funny. True! I've seen the accusation that you're a chaser sometime. All I can think is like, who, what, why? So the issue is that a lot of people think that I'm transphobic, but then they see me say things that are pro-trans. They can't parse that with their previous belief, so what they say is that the only reason I'm saying positive stuff about trans people is because I'm a chaser. That way I can say positive stuff about trans people, but still be transphobic in their head. That's the reason for that. It's just a way of resolving cognitive dissonance. I'm dumb, what's a chaser? Uh, a chaser is a person who fetishizes trans people uh, in, in, a, in a negative way. Not like they're into trans people, but like they're, you know, kind of creepy and predatory about it, or they, you know, um, they're transphobic, and to them, like, the transness thing is just a fetish, you know, like it's not a dehumanizing trans people, yeah, that, that kind of stuff, you know, it's like a bad, bad behavior. Like if you were talking about loving girl dick all the time and didn't give a shit about the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, the biggest chasers, the biggest chasers on Twitter are trans women. If we're going by that metric. Take it, take a look at the the people who are girl dick, girl dick, nya nya. It's mo it's like 98% trans girls. You by the way, you can be a trans chaser. That is a real thing, okay? Absolutely real thing. Yeah, they're looking for the gick Bosch why? What do you mean? What? Of, co of course they can, because you can be anything regardless of your demographic characteristics. Beliefs are not hinged upon... You can be black and racist, you can be trans and transphobic, you can be gay and homophobic, you can be... yeah, you can... There are absolutely some trans people who hyper-fetishize transness. If you if you guys don't know this, like, you can look at the you can look at the most uncomfortable examples if you want. You can talk about, like, Jessica Yaniv or whatever if you want to, or like... There... Nah, this, this, is, this is definitely a thing. There are absolutely trans girls that do this, okay? I don't think it's like... Uh, I, I don't think it's like a, a overwhelming systemic issue necessarily. T for T is a whole thing. Well, I don't think T for T means you're a chaser necessarily. Can you prefer trans women without being a chaser? Yeah, for sure. I think that's fine. I don't think being a chaser speaks to a preference necessarily. I think it speaks to like negative and, and toxic, you know, fetishization of a person's identity. Like it goes goes well beyond that. I think it's different when you're in your own group. It can be different, but that doesn't mean it can't be a problem. I hate getting called a chaser for T for T. I don't think being T for T is, means you're a chaser. I think you can be cis and only want to date trans women and not be a chaser. I don't think that makes you a chaser. Now, admittedly, I think most of the people who are cis who would only want to date trans women probably are chasers, but not inherently. Uh, I just think that's a, a, a consequence of probability. Vosh, but a lot of trans girls making girl dick jokes is coping with trauma, you should distinguish that. I am not saying that you're a chaser if you make jokes about girl dick. I'm saying that if that was the criteria by which a person becomes a chaser, then tra all the trans girls would be the biggest chasers. Is there a cis chaser then? There's not a term for a cis chaser. That's not, that's not really a thing, I think, that has any adjacent terminology. Joking about something to cope with trauma doesn't exactly excuse something. Well, there's nothing wrong with making jokes about girl dick. There's nothing wrong with that. that we're, you were not a chaser for that. Chat, holy fuck. Pull the fucking bananas out of your ears, okay? There's no- listen, okay? Being a chaser is bad because you're fetishizing trans people. Now, sometimes chasers will do the girl dick jokes or whatever. Mostly it's fucking trans people who do that shit. Bosh isn't a chaser, but only because his trans jokes aren't funny. True! Girl dick is better small anyways. The proper term is gick. Thank you. And I'm I'm a size queen for bottoms as well. I'm holistic like that. Are those Discord screenshots real? Yes. I'm sorry for what I did to your mother and father. But in fairness, they did literally ask for it over and over again in high-pitched, breathy moans. And I'm sorry for leaking all the pictures and videos. Again, it was directly at their request. NB dick is M dick? That just sounds hard to say. Would that be a leak then? Uh, I guess not. Are you a size queen for pussy and or coconuts? Uh, I don't actually like coconuts, IRL. That actually makes the analogy that much, much sinister, you know? I'm not even gonna eat the coconuts that I've hoarded, which, funnily enough, is also fairly analogous for capitalism, but... Um, and as, as for pussies, no, I am not a size queen for pussies. I'm so- I'm sorry. I think that my my preference for pussy sizes is probably fairly typical. I probably, you know, probably a fairly ordinary 
Is horse pussy hussy? Yes. And that's why it's a bad word. I'm trying to keep it down. Wouldn't it be stallion pussy? Stussy? No, wait, stallion just means male horse, right? Never mind then. Just stumbled onto a meme including you for the first time on Insta. Uh, there are people defending you and then people calling you a pedophile zoophile. Yes, the, the latest incarnation of the accusations. That I have a secret barn full of underage horses. That I copulate with. Many are saying this. What's your minimum dick size limit IRL? Uh, well, I mean, I've, I've fucked... I fucked people with like tiny dicks. It's it's it, it's an aesthetic thing. It's not a practical thing. I never bought them. So, Vosh, who would you bottom for? If there was a a suitably endowed, uh, cute feminine person, that I would go for it. I've had sexual partners in the past who I think would fit the bill, but it never happened. All right, Vosh, aren't you a top? Are you into big dicks with top energy over there? Because then they could flop around. What the fuck do you mean? It's not like the dick's not there when the person's bottoming. They still flop around. What, 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 what is this? What, do you think it just disappears? It goes flop flop. What do you want? It goes away when they reverse cowgirl, right? Well, you can still feel it slapping against your thigh or whatever. Well, I guess that depends on the angle. Aren't you technically straight then, since you're only top? Yes. In ancient Greece, you would be considered straight because you don't bottom? Yes. Um, there's, uh, there's, there's, some, there's some truth to that, you know, I think. Yeah, I, I am sexually Greek, uh, except for the pederasty. That part's not good. Don't clip this. You think some of the dudes from Rome were gay? I'd say a, probably a good number, yeah. Just a kind of a guess, I'd say. Meanwhile, there's not a single gay person in the history of Japan. I don't know, man. Some people say that, um... Ah, oh, fuck, what's his name? God damn it. Come on, guys, the ultimate sword saint. Come on, fuck. M something? Uh... Musashi. Yeah, Musashi. All talented people in history are gay. You could fuck one celebrity, who would it be? I don't fucking know. The Edo period of Japan saw homosexuality as a virtue. Look, peeps are horny, okay? Fart Huffer 69 with the tier 1 sub. Thank you. I can't believe there are people with fart fetishes, man. I know statistically there are probably a few watching right now, and... Look, please do give me money, or like, keep subbing or whatever, you know? That's fine, but like... Y'all wild. Well, brainwashing beam, just know that I love you. It's a recurring pattern that I'm always right. Sag.